Hello, my name is Chris Palmer. Welcome to Chris Palmer SEO. In today's video, I'm going to discuss how to write a meta description that's best for SEO on your WordPress site. Now, it is common knowledge. If you go ahead and take a look, we're dealing with WordPress here. So, uh, with WordPress, there's one very huge common uh, WordPress <laughs> WordPress plugin. Okay. Um, for SEO and the most widely used I would assume I don't use it uh, is Yoast SEO now we're talking about meta descriptions and meta descriptions that is going to be best for you how to write it how to optimize it I have an absolutely massive SEO secret for your WordPress website now if you scroll down here uh, they are recommending uh, characters of 155 all right so I'm gonna go over here to WordPress I have a all-in-one uh, because I just like it a little bit better than Yoast but I've ran into the same problem if you go here now stick with me because I have a huge uh, secret a tip that I want to give to you if we go here uh, let's just put in our our you know our letters or whatnot so keyword right so stick with me here, guys. I have a huge uh, tip for you. So, as you can see, it has turned red, but you can put in as many characters as you want, all right? You can make this as long as you want. Now, the recommended by Yoast and everywhere else, I'll take you over here, is going to be, and here's what's Ma's recommendation, meta descriptions can be any length. And, and this is one of the things that I want to point out for your WordPress SEO, is when you're getting your information from online, the people who know try to keep their secrets in. But I want to help you actually succeed online. That's my goal. That's my mission. Especially if you have a WordPress site or maybe you're a beginner, or you're just starting out. So following the recommendation from Moz would be 155 to 160 characters. If you go over to your popular plugin, it's 155 characters. Now, even if we go over here to WordPress, as you can see, it is bright red, even with all in one. But you can make your meta descriptions longer. Now, as you can see here, I'll point out, Moz has said here it can be any length. They're, they're giving you a tip, but I'm going to share with you the actual tip to write your meta descriptions for your WordPress website. Now, if you go right over here, I, I want to point out one last thing. Uh, right here on Google's um page here the goal of a snippet in a title is to best represent and describe each result now here's the best part this is the most important part and explain how it relates to the user's query the user's experience remember Google is trying to serve the best result to its user so the SEO tip the huge tip to writing your meta descriptions for SEO for your WordPress website is this here. When you are on your um, page, okay, and you're filling out your meta description, I have all in one. It's telling you do not make it longer than the recommended. However, I am proposing and I am begging you because Google if you put in a 700 character 800 character thousand letter or characters right Google because it wants to fill the user's query and have the best user experience Google will actually take out the most relevant keywords the most relevant sentences the most relevant meta description for that particular user to serve that search intent so to write your meta description for SEO for your WordPress website what I want to recommend 
Okay, the secret, the takeaway for this video is include all of your keywords, anything related to this particular search for your meta description, fill it out. Make sure that puppy is long. Make it as long as you can. Make sure it's keyword enriched because Google will actually pull and take, okay, the meta description for you. It will make it for you to serve to the user to give them the best experience. So that is the massive takeaway. Google is going to help you. Stop listening to the information that's being uh, fed to you. This is wrong information. 155 to 160 characters. Yoast, one of the biggest plugins, same thing, 155. They're just regurgitating the same information. I go over here to my site, my all-in-one, I try to put in, I try to put in over, and it's turning bright red. But Chris knows, and I'm sharing with you, and I'm glad I could share this with you, that if you make it longer, Google will pull out the best optimized for that searcher, giving you more traffic, getting you more clicks for your WordPress website. So that's going to wrap up this how to write the best meta description for SEO on your WordPress website. If you found value in this, which I know that you had to have, implement these tips, implement these tactics, put them in and go and see for yourself. I look forward to seeing you in the next SEO video. Until then, have a wonderful day.